Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. It's Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. And we are on the downside of August, getting ready to move into the fall and the resumption of our uh, sort of normal academic year, program year schedule. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But first, uh, just want to remind folks that this coming Sunday, after the uh, nine o'clock service, so probably around 10.15-ish, uh, Bishop Epting will conclude that three-week series of um, classes on how the New Testament uh, came to be. And this week, uh, he'll, like I say, he'll bring it to a conclusion, and he'll be talking about kind of the, the what are known as the uh, Deutero-Pauline epistles and the Catholic epistles and um, all of the rest of the epistles and maybe touch on Hebrews and, and the Revelation. Uh, it's been a really, really good series. Folks have, have attended and been engaged. I've heard wonderful comments from everyone. And so uh, all of that information for previous classes will show up in the e-news tomorrow. If you want to go ahead and pick up on those. And then uh, it will be, again, this coming Sunday for the last one. Uh, this, uh, the Sunday following, that would be August 28th, following the nine o'clock service, the regular service, um, we will have our parish picnic. And this will be the first one that we've had for quite a while on COVID interruptions. And so it, it will be a great event. Um, it will go start about 1030. So if you are um, going to join us via Zoom for the 745 service, just come on down. At 10:30, uh, we've got bouncy house for the kids and face painting and game, lawn games. Um, this year, uh, due to the generosity of some folks, um, we will or the men's group will be hosting um, this uh, parish picnic. Uh, it will be available to everyone, free of charge. Um, it's not a potluck. The picnic will be available to everyone, and there'll be burgers and and hot dogs and all of the sides and all of that kind of thing. Um, and men's group is doing this to honor uh, a couple of, uh, well, several folks who have um, died since the last parish picnic, but um, two individuals who are involved in the men's group um, heavily uh, who have also died in the last year. And so uh, please come and join in the fun and help us honor John Cables and Caples and Brad Nye, um, both of whom would have been here um, and been a part of this. So. Um, that's coming up again on uh, Sunday, August 28th. Um, then we get to September 7th, uh, Memorial or Labor Day um, weekend. Uh, we're still on the summer schedule, 7.45 for morning prayer via Zoom and 9 o'clock for Eucharist. Um, there will be no faith form that day um, due to the holiday weekend and things like that. And then the following Sunday, uh, September 11th, we resume our regular uh, sort of program year uh, schedule. So the first service will be at 745. That will be in the chapel. It will be Holy Eucharist. And it will be Zoomed as well for folks who cannot join. But you're welcome to be there in person uh, for communion at 745. Between the two services, um, we'll have our regular uh, 915 to yeah, about 9.15 <laughs> to 10.15. Uh, this will come out in, in a separate um, uh, piece of publicity soon. Um, uh, Faith Forum, um, and uh, that will be the regular schedule. And then 10.30 um, for the regular Eucharist um, on Sundays. On September 11th, however, um, we'll have the ministry fair. And I'm going to come back to that in just a minute. But um, on the 18th, uh, Faith Forum will resume, and uh, Mary Mead, the Reverend Mary Mead, will uh, pick back up uh, Bible 101 and pick up uh, David, some more of the, the stories of David as we move forward and people are able to reconnect with some of those uh, stories uh, and events that we learned um, early in maybe in Sunday school or in other places. So that will be there on the 18th. Now, going back to the ministry for uh, I was uh, reading this morning um, in the Gospel of John as part of the daily office lectionary, um, one of those wonderful feeding stories where Jesus fed the multitude and 
Um, this was the one where the disciples come to him and ask him, uh, you know, how are we going to feed all these people? Um, uh, and uh, Jesus asks the disciples, well, what do you think? And um, one of them says, well, you know, there's this kid here. He's got some food in his lunch bag. And uh, Jesus takes that and then has everyone sit down and um, feeds a lot of folks and are leftovers. And, uh, you know, it's a great story. It's these feeding stories, feedings of the multitude stories show up in all four gospels. Clearly a story that resonates with a lot of folks on um, this, this miracle of abundance um, out of what many people, or at least the disciples in the story of John thought was scarcity. We don't have enough to feed all these people. There isn't enough, we don't have enough money to feed all these people. And what happens is that there was more than enough. And, um, you know, there are a lot of explanations for how this might have happened. Um, and I, I like to think that um, regardless of the explanation, what we hear here is that in this group of 5,000 people or 3,000, I forget how many there were this morning, um, there was enough and there was more than enough. And I think that that uh, is, is just such a great metaphor for what we bring um, to Good Shepherd, uh, to ministry, is we may not think we have enough, but we do. And so much more that there are leftovers. And I'm not thinking about money. I'm not thinking, I mean, all these are great, you know, but, but we have things that we don't even recognize until they are called forth um, by Christ uh, to, to serve the greater good. And so as we, as we look at this uh, ministry fair coming up, um, I encourage you to think about what are those ministries that might be lying uh, latent, hidden in you, uh, or things that you would really want to try out? Um, you know, uh, Jesus calls some disciples, I'll, I'll make you fishers of people, and they probably scratch their heads a bit and say, what does that mean? I will try it out. Come on, and we'll see. And they found out, and the world was changed. So I invite you, um, as we look forward to this ministry fair, to consider what ministries um, might be fun, uh, might meet all of those gifts that we sort of unearthed uh, and gathered and gifted. Um, where is God calling you to uh, share what you have with the congregation and then, um, again, the wider world? And I was, I was uh, reminded um, as I was reading this that um, of, of that statement that we say every week at the Eucharist, you know, holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. And I wonder, do we really believe that the earth is full of God's glory in a way that we don't even realize? So come um, on the 11th, imagine what glory you can reveal uh, and find a place to engage in that ministry at Good Shepherd. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.